Welcome to the channel folks, Barry Mumford here. If you like photography tutorials, behind the scenes and reviews, why not consider subscribing to the channel. In this video, I'm going to show you the simplest and easiest way to set up and shoot your e-commerce product photography. And it only takes a matter of minutes. So before we start the video, let's talk about the gear that we're using now. You can see from this setup, it's a nice, small, compact setup, and that's what's great about this. this these lights is that you can set them up on a kitchen table, in the studio, any dining room table, anywhere. If you're starting out in e-commerce or starting out in photography and you want to start shooting these products for clients, this is a great and efficient way to start shooting, and it's so easy. In a matter of minutes, you'll be up and running, and you'll be producing some fantastic, super high-quality images that seem so hard to get but in actual fact with this setup it's very easy so before we get started folks we're going to talk a little bit about the gear that we're using now these are continuous lights so you're going to have to be shooting in a dark environment you don't want any of the ambient light affecting the product that you're shooting so bear that in mind but with continuous light it's hugely popular now what you see is what you get so you're going to be able to see the light falling on the product that you're shooting so it's going to make things a lot easier and again because these panels are so thin so light it just reduces the space that you're able to shoot there, which makes things a lot easier also. Now these are mains powered, but they also are battery powered, which is a great thing to make them super portable. So if you need to head out to a client's place to shoot the products, you can see you only need a small space to shoot in. Now this is the 450D, we're going to be using that for the background light. That's going to give us our nice high key look on the background. For the base, we've just got some matte plastic. Now you can use high sheen plastic to get a nice reflection in. The choice is yours, depending on what your client wants. Now for the two side lights, we're using the 350D, again, super thin panels, slightly smaller than the 450, but super effective also. So like I said before, when you're shooting in this environment, you need to make sure that you're shooting without any ambient light affecting the scene. So once we get started shooting, I'll be turning out the video lights and all that will be running is these continuous lights and you'll be able to see the effect that it has on the product and how easy it is to set up and start shooting. So let's start getting some really great images of our product here. So now all of the lights are off, all the video lights are turned off. The only light that we're seeing is the, uh, the 450D at the moment for our background light. Now I have the camera recording so you guys can see exactly how it's affecting the shot. Now the great thing about these lights is you can actually adjust the power output of the light you can have it super bright, which obviously you don't need it super bright because obviously we're just using it as a background light and we don't want any bleeding coming around the subject. So that's something you've got to bear in mind and that's another great thing about these is that you don't have, normally you'd have to move the light further away from your subject to stop the bleeding coming around the subject. But because these are controllable from the back and the power output's controllable, you can just reduce the power to almost the minimum and you can see the effect it has through the video lens there. So once we have that set up and we've got a nice high key background and you can see obviously it's nice on the base of our uh, product as well. So once we switch the other lights on, that's going to fill in the shadows around chat and give us that nice high key look that we're looking for. So when you upload them to the website, you've just got that nice pure white background. So we'll switch this light on. We'll bring that one around a bit. I'm going to use this one to illuminate the side of our glove. Again, you can see exactly how that's affecting the shot. Now, once we've got have this light on, you can see how it's illuminating this side of the product. And again, it's just, it's so easy, that's it. As it stands now, it looks really great. But my preference, I would like some highlight coming around the side of these gloves just to show the texture and the roundness of the finger. So we'll bring this light round, we'll bring it back a bit and we'll switch it on. I'm gonna show you the effect that that has instantly. There you go, that's giving us that nice highlight around the edge of the glove. So as you can see, straight away that's looking really good. Again, you can control the power from the back of these units. So obviously if you're shooting at a higher aperture, you can increase the power of the lights to suit. And there you have it. I mean, how quick and easy was that to set up in real time, a couple of minutes, and start shooting your products. Now, once them lights are set up, if you have similar products, say if you had another 10 pairs of keeper gloves like that, you can just one after the other, click, 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 job done, and you've got yourself a highly polished image ready to upload to your client's website. So what about white on white? We've shot black on white, which is obviously a lot easier, but what about white on white? Well, let's grab a product and start shooting some white on white and show you what you can do with this setup. 
So there you go, I've literally just swapped those two objects out. I put the white dove durant in the centre. Haven't changed any of the lighting setup, so you can see through the camera exactly what you're going to get now. I mean, it really is efficient. Now, if you want to start scoping this light, this is a great thing about these units. Like I said, you can control the power output of the light. So we'll move this one around here. So if you want to add a little bit of shadow to this side of the product, give it a little bit of a three-dimensional look to it, you can simply add a black card. But the good thing about these lights is being able to control the power output. So no need for the black card, really. You can just reduce the output there and then, and that's the job done. Now you can see how effective that is because you're still getting a little bit of a light highlight coming down the side there, which is the light reflecting back off of this one also. But because you've reduced the power of that, it's given a nice shadow to this, this side of the object, giving that 3D look. So no need for any gobos neither. So what about softening the light? Now obviously these are a solid block of light, so you're getting, going to get a sharp highlight in the product that you're shooting. Well, we can simply and easily add some diffusion to this light and you can see the effect that that has instantly to the light. I've actually turned that brightness to four. Now by adding a little bit of diffusing paper there, you're going to soften that highlight down the side of the product and it just takes away that harsh edge. So it's so versatile this setup. Now you can do that with the same with the other side and then instantly you have a super nice diffused light coming from either side which is separated from the background because you're getting that nice, that really nice little soft shadow coming on the side as well. Job done. So just by adding those two little bits of diffusion to the lights, instantaneously just softens that light down on the product, giving you an absolutely fantastic result in camera, which takes minutes. So there you go, folks. That is how easy it is to set up and shoot your product photography. That took a matter of minutes. This has to be the easiest setup I've came across to shoot e-commerce product photography for that nice high key background. Now, if you are somebody who is into video and who likes to shoot video of your products, these lights are also great for video. So super versatile. Now, if I haven't already mentioned it, they are battery powered and mains powered, so you can take them around to your client and start shooting on location in a small space. No need for a big studio setup, folks. This will do you the job instantaneously. So there you go. That is it for this video, folks. I hope you've liked it. If you have, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you're not already subscribed and flick the notification bell so you can see when more videos like this are posted. And I will see you folks in the next one. See you then.